Uh, let me tell you, Mr. Speaker, I really think that it is time the Labour Party changed their tune. I'm, I was, I was, uh, I've got some good news. I've got some good news for the leader of the Labour Party. Uh, he was voted uh, by Labour members as the most popular Labour leader since records began. I, I want him to know. I want him to know that those those sentiments are warmly shared by many on this side of the house. Mr Speaker, the Labour Party will never abandon the poor of this country. Levels of child poverty are a national scandal. The Prime Minister seems unable, incapable or unwilling to answer that question. Universal credit had three aims. It was meant to make work pay. Low paid workers are not allowed to even keep their bonuses. It was meant to be simple, but has created mind numbing -numbing complexity. It was meant to reduce poverty. It's driving people to food banks. As we've seen today, the Prime Minister isn't able to answer questions on it. The fact is, this government has baked in austerity for tens of millions of people. When will he finally accept that the universal credit system is broken, is damaging, is dangerous to people's living standards, and it should go? Prime Minister. That must have looked good in the mirror. Mr Speaker, the right honourable gentleman wants to do nothing else except keep people in the welfare trap. Stop stop helping people out of welfare and into work. And I think actually he should pay tribute to all the people who by their hard work have found fantastic jobs over the last year. And he should pay tribute to the growth and employment in the UK economy. And quite frankly, Mr Speaker, it is this government that is getting on with delivering on the priorities of the British people. 40 new hospitals, 50,000 50, more nurses, 20,000 more police officers, Mr Speaker, and all the, la- the, the Labour Party is still split from top to toe, Mr Speaker, about whether to stay in the EU or to remain run by the EU. They still can't make up their mind. He still can't make up their, his mind. We deliver on the people's priorities.